How's it do? Good, how are you doing? Good. Did you already go down there? Yeah, we came from up there. Okay. Were you coming from up there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We are now finally coming out of a two-week deep freeze and the unusually warm air is creating a thick fog the last couple of days. Heading into the last weekend of the season, I took Friday off to go hunt in the fog. Foggy days are my favorite times to be chasing birds. Safety is the only thing that keeps me from being out in the field because some of my best bird encounters were done in light misty fog. It can unnerve some and one can easily get turned around in it. I selected an isolated area on Onyx map that borders a huge lake. Normally I'll only hunt areas I'm familiar with when there is fog but I figured the lake will serve as a reference point for me should I lose my sense of direction and if the GPS fails to get a signal. Midway into the first field, I was pleasantly surprised that there was another hunter, crazier than yours truly. He had the same idea and beat me to the spot. Much respect to you, kind sir. As they say, early bird gets the worm. We exchanged pleasant trees and chatted for a few minutes. Although we were offered to hunt with him, I opted to move on to the next field and let him enjoy the rest of their hunt. Huh? <laughs> you know, if I leave one out the truck, they will cry bloody murder. Yeah. <laughs> How's it do? Good, how are you doing? Good. Did you already go down there? Yeah, we came from up there. Okay. Were you coming from up there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll let you guys hunt. Um, we, we came down through that way. There's nothing other than in the trees, all the birds. We were on the other side, so I heard them flushing, so they all came this way. <laughs> I don't know how many roosters and how many hens, but... Well, we've only got one more to get, so... Okay. I mean, you're welcome to hunt with us if you want, yeah. too. Yeah, I just pulled up on X and say, okay, what? where do you want to go today? <laughs> that one. <laughs> yeah. So, the first time I'm here and I'm trying to figure out, okay, what does it look like? It looks like it's low land based on the map. Yeah, lowland uh, water up here. Water, cattails. Yeah, the birds started getting up down at the end of them down here. Yeah, I think they were staying close to this cut corn. Yeah, I came on the other side. There's corn, cut corn on that side, but private on that side. So I was just following the edge, and then I, I heard you shoot. So I figured, okay, somebody's down there. I better just come out, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> make myself seen. Make sure yourself seen. Yeah, I heard the beep beep. I thought, was that my, you know, electronics or something? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah. if you're based down there, I'm going to let you just walk back and I'll just go up to the truck and go. Okay. Have you hunted that place. spot back over there? No, I haven't. It's, that's a good spot back there. We saw lots of birds, mostly hens, but there were some roosters. Yeah. We got a couple in there before. Okay. So, it's a, it's a little bit of a hike to get back in there. but. Okay. Well, good talking to you. Yeah, good talking uh, to you. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah. I selected a WPA a little bit south of the first spot. One thing I did not account for were the high snow drifts that cover the rural dirt roads. Even though I was driving a 4x4 Toyota Tundra, I was quite nervous being on the road in this type of weather. I did not have a shovel with me in the truck, so if I got stuck, it could get quite interesting. The tundra may be thirsty, 
but boy am I glad I'm behind the wheels of one of these in this type of condition. We arrived at the second spot without any problems. Devon, 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 Anna's pointing him out. There must have been lots of bird scent because both dogs were birdie. Each were tracking in separate directions, so I chose to follow Jet this time. Wouldn't you know it, Thanos was onto the rooster. And Jet came up empty. We didn't have any more bird contact. So I headed to a WMA 5 miles east. On my way there, the road was completely blocked by high snow drift. So I had to turn around and go back and take another route. When I got there, it was a rather large cattail slough. As soon as I got out of the truck, a rooster cackled nervously 50 yards away in the cattail. You know where I'm headed. Devon, Devon, come, Devon, good boy, good boy, yeah I got him, yeah I got him, Fetch it up. Fetch it up. Fetch it up. Come. Bring it here. Bring it here. Come on. Good boy. Good job. Good job, Thanos. That a boy. All right, we're done. We are done. D-U-N-N. -N. Done. Third bird of the day. Yeah.
the fog had lifted slightly and my day is done. Right. Heading back to the truck, home. I pondered how often are foggy days at the end of January in South Dakota. It is truly a blessing that I am able to hunt during such a day. Until next time, God bless and take care.